Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome to Law of Creation 2. Yep, if you guys have seen my um, gameplay of Law of Creation, the first one, which is pretty much like the whole manga thing, uh, welcome to 2. We're going to try it out and see how it is. Now, this is the beta version, so it's not like full-on stable or anything like that. Um, it's also not translated towards English, so yeah, it's another different language game we're going to try out. Doesn't seem like there's a skip button either, so I guess we'll just go ahead and try to experience this then. But I actually been looking forward to playing this game because I actually enjoyed Law of Creation 1 for a while. I haven't played it since then though, to be honest. Guys, one of these this skip button? Okay, no, that's the autoplay button. And that's just the um, blog. Oh my god, it's so shiny, so bright. Oh, so we get to choose one of the choices. I wonder if that actually did anything. I'm actually that curious. So there will be choices during the story. Wait, does that just replay to this? Okay, yeah, it does just replay. What the hell? Are these just a whole bunch of random quizzes or something? I don't know, but it seems like we got through it. <laughs> こんにちは。私たちはここで戦地する覚悟である。正解は大きいが、人間の居場所がないのだ。そう。これは人間最後の攻撃の場所だから。人間に抵抗あれ。あれを使えば、あなたがこの世界の破壊者になる。this is so weird. I guess I'm kind of thrown off just because I haven't, like, completed it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then. The only English translated word that pops up. But yeah, I guess I'm sort of out of it just because I didn't completely finish the, the story in the first one. Okay, then that was interesting. All right, here we are in the gameplay. It definitely looks different from the first one. Or is it? I guess it's a slight little change. Oh, they have a speed up. That's all they have. They don't have like an actual skip button. Alright, this should be interesting. I wonder if they changed the gameplay any, or is it still the same? Alright, so we click on her. So this one probably is going to be more confusing than the rest of them, just because, um... Seems like it's going to be, like, way different from what we're used to. So I'm not sure how well I can, like, figure out what everything is. Alright, let's just go ahead and skip this. Alright, hopefully the gameplay is in, like, too out of place and it's actually easy to understand okay so is it just auto attack on being near oh um that's different 
That is very different. So you would draw these symbols to use your attack. That's weird. That's so weird. But I find that so interesting. I haven't seen a game do that before. Ooh, XP. So now I can just walk around. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and put my. Uh, well, now nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in when we go to a different quest. I was gonna um, put in my controls so I can move. A lot better. Alright, so now she's in our party. So I wonder if we get to see a whole bunch of people in the open world. I kind of like the background. It's kind of mixed in with like 3D and 2D at the same time. Alright, so this is the map. So I'm here. My quest is down here. Or, or oh no, that's me. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, bright. Okay, my eyes. I just got hit with a flashbang. Cool. For now on, we're just going to keep picking the top one. So does that actually change our look? That would be cool if it actually changed our look. Oh, she gets the rest of the stuff. Now let's give him the hat. And let's give you your gloves. This is just like really lowered. Especially when we're in there. What the hell is this? I have no idea. But we do have a bag here. Where we can look at our equipment. Apparently we have pants and... Oh. I did not see that. Oh, we can't put those on and tour it like that level. Okay. That makes sense. Oh. Okay. That's a... Interesting transition. Well, I guess they don't have the skip button, just so you can still make choices. Okay, so here's where I want to put my keyboard so I can actually have a hand free here. Hopefully it works. Hopefully. Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Yeah, that's actually pretty fantastic. I thought it bugged out or something. I was just like, oh god, did I already break the game? <laughs> no, I did not break the game, apparently. That's the first. Oh god, he has more for <laughs> more of them. Why? So what's this? I guess that's things we pick up. Oh wow, she's just one-shotting everything. Okay. But we're level 5, so we can put on those pants now. But yeah, this beta is pretty much like a demo. 
pretty much a demo. Oh wait, what's that? This summons? Yeah, it is. Who shall it be? Oh, okay, that's... That's pretty sick. Alright, so she's a rare. She actually looks pretty cool. I was going to put her in there anyway, but alright, game. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like her portrait. And her um, character model. The gameplay isn't half bad either. I can definitely say that. Oh god, it's a lot weirder trying to control it on this screen. So you would have to grab and move. Doing it with this does not help. Because <laughs> you end up doing like the weirdest things. Alright. So what are we doing? Ah, here's the stats and stuff. Are those other skills? I'm pretty sure those are other skills. Or maybe they're passives. Okay, no, they're not. They're to draw ones. Okay. So these are probably like the different um, builds you could put in. This is probably the first build. So these are like your stats. Close. Can I rename him? Oh, I can't rename him. <laughs> what if I could do the same thing for her? Okay, no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. She has a lot of stuff. What? I guess only my character can, like, draw things. So I guess we're using our main character through the whole game. I can't go that way? Um, okay, there we go. Wait, what up? What's the shop over here? Curiosity. Okay, if you click on the door, you actually go in. You can buy like a finger pointer for a. Oh, well, we don't have that. Let's go ahead and get out of here because that's not in, in our price range. So far, I like it. So far. Um, I was about to say it's going to transition. So we can run outside the village. So I'm guessing there is a travel function where we can like travel from town to town. Even seeing other players, too. Definitely a lot. And what I mean a lot, a lot different from Law Creation 1. So she's the boss. So that stuff is on cooldown. Dude, I like... I really like the playstyle. It's like... Really unique. Personally, I've never seen another game do this. It's like super fun for some reason. Just drawing out your skills. Oh, look at these guys. They already look like they want to fight. <laughs> Just like, what's up, dude? Go ahead and throw hands. I'm ready for it.
be honest, I can't find any complaints, to be honest. I think they're heading in, like, a really good direction. Oh, dear God. You also do have to aim your skill, too, though. Oh god. So we had a time limit to do that. Or were you supposed to lose that? I wonder if the story changes. Okay, no. Do you just go back in? Huh. Oh, so she joins the party afterwards. So, yeah, okay, that explains it. Yeah, we were technically supposed to lose. I'm supposed to position myself behind. I hate it because these little things always try to chase me for some reason. Did you like screw off? So I can place my skills? Like fight my teammates. <laughs> Give me a tank that taunts so I can get them off me. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. I would buff him up like so much because those enemies go for me too much kind of surprised she actually helped us considering the fact that she tried to fight us all right here goes our shoes all right what did you take did you take anything? Uh, no, actually, you can't take any of that. Ah, there you are. That makes sense of why we got that gear. So grabbing gear does not change your appearance at all, or anything like that. And random enemies on the road can attack you. Okay. So it's like a Final Fantasy ordeal right there. Where there's just roaming enemies that you can get caught by. Get out of here. Stop attacking our healer. Obviously, that would be a lot of strat that needs to go behind it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in this game you could build some pretty decent team comps. You get a uh, gear drop, so fighting enemies is also not a half bad idea if you need uh, actual gears. Maybe it'll be like uh, random bosses, like world bosses that just spawn. You gotta go get him. That'll actually be pretty sick. Oh, and uh, weapons actually have different stats. That I do like. Oh wow! Oh, you—you you, you really don't get anything, do you? Well, I guess you are a different class from everybody else. All right, let's continue heading this way. Oh, you can see him running in the background, too. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, hold up. It's this thing. This is where our quest is. Are you trying to fight me again? I'm ready for it. Oh, that wasn't even a full V, and we still got it. I'm actually having, like, a lot of fun, if you guys haven't told by now. <laughs> 
So since this is in like um beta, I don't think it's gonna get a global anytime soon as of this like year. Probably like somewhere in like two years or next year. Other than that, I don't see it happening anytime soon, unfortunately. Because I would definitely love to play more of this game in English. Just so I can know what just so I can know all the stats, the story. Definitely interested to see what the story is all about. Because I don't know if it's like any different from the first uh, law creation. Go up. Oh god. Is it me or does did that look, dude look like a lot bigger? Oh, wrong way. Wait, what's this guy? We haven't seen him. Vivi. You like a little special monster? So you, you do like little quick directionals. They don't even have to be like full on. They can just stop right there. Oh no, these these are the rolling things that I fought earlier. Okay then. Oh, it did drop some decent stuff for us though. Ah, we finally found gear for her. One piece of gear though. <laughs> this one has higher stats. Alright, let's just go ahead and throw that on then. Oh, that guy back there was like bigger than the other one. So he was probably like a little boss that you could fight. Alright. Alright, here's the stuff. Here's their gear. So, is this our ult? Yeah. That's our ultimate. Whoops. Now we have ourselves an ultimate attack. Um, this is what we needed for her. So I believe it was a set summon that we had got. There we go. Now everybody has gear. And they're showing off other things. Okay, here's quests. Wait, how much does summons cost? Oh, around 2,000. I mean, we already seen the summoning animation, so... We already showed off that, thankfully. I definitely like this way, way more than the first one. Let's fight this guy. He seems way buff and stronger than the other ones we fought. And now that we have like full on gear, I want to see how we do. Oh, and our um, ultimate ability is going on cooldown. Oh wow, all of our abilities are on a logger cooldown. I guess that was just like a little bit of a tutorial area. Okay, there we go. We got rid of all the other little enemies. Oh, 
I don't know if that increases his attack speed, but I think it increases his uh, movement speed. Now that I think about it. Yeah, keep her healed. Don't let her die. You got this. And did. Yeah, well, kind of, kind of pretty tougher than the other ones. All right. Got a mission done. Got a coin. I don't know what the hell the coin is for, but all right. Now uh, let's go down here. I think this is going to be our last little fight. Then we're going to wrap it up there. I would love to play more, but I don't want to get too far in it and get like wiped or anything like that because if I end up playing this for a long time, you guys know it's unstable and stuff like that. They could probably release another full version to where you could be completely wiped. Or the fact is I'm just waiting for a global, if anything. So I'll definitely keep an eye out just in case it does get one. Alright, our ultimate's almost here. Ah, too late. <laughs> By one second, too. Oh, you didn't even drop anything. What a jerk. Alright, he ran away. Oh, I like how, how she looks. She looks interesting. Maybe there is like a mailbox system, but we have to find our way to it. We're all frozen. Except for one person. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, where are you going? Alright. Okay, there we go. Oh, these silence her. How rude of her to silence people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're still in the tutorial, for sure. Oh dear god, how many people are going to fight us? I, 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 it's probably because I said uh, this is going to be our last one, and we're just like, no, 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 dude, this is going to be your last fight. After you find all of us. So, your time limit is two minutes before your character runs away in a set defeat. Okay, don't attack them. Attack this guy. Okay, there is targeting. I'm gonna kill this thing just because he keeps trying to go after the healer. Okay, I, I put it over here, so I was hoping it would go wherever I decide to place it. Okay, can we... Okay, there we go. I don't know if we're going to kill in time without her, but the fact that this woman keeps moving back is really annoying. <laughs> Alright, so I don't think there's a star system. I mean, there really shouldn't be, because there's really no point of the star system out of a game like this because you can't go back and just fight it over again and get it completion it seems like the story just advances so i say that's just perfect oh god are we fighting them all together okay now Okay, so what's going on here? Are we leveling up skills? I have no idea. 
The screen looks weird. I guess we did enhance the skill or something. So these guys are now part of our party. So naturally they want me to bring her in, huh? All right. Just a whole bunch of check marks in there. But yeah, guys, wait, what the hell is this bullseye? But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this whole little sequence of playing this. This game is actually really unique and actually pretty fun. I know I've been saying that through the whole video, but it is, it is actually pretty fun. I like it. It's definitely a different spin on what they've been making, for sure. Um, I can't wait to see what other directions they take the game. I am definitely looking forward to it. And want to see more, to be honest. Like, I was wondering if I could change to a different character. Like that other person that was in the shop. Apparently there are different main characters. But you probably have to unlock them or something. So, what did I really enjoy about this? I really enjoyed the combat. The art, I can get behind just because I'm pretty used to this. Really love the background and how it transitions. Like, that that's what really caught my eye. I really love, like, the layout. And I guess that's pretty much it. There's a red moon in the background. Cherry moon. Pretty much what we call it, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. Where it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? You got to lose. Cause what you got to lose.